Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Harley Lars uh, out on a bike today. Ooh, there she is. Yeah. So, maybe hard to see right now. We got a little surprise for you. Not my normal kind of review because it's a fast food place. And I, I don't normally do those. I prefer the mom and pop places. But I'll wait to see what we got in store for you. See you in a little bit. All right, guys, so you can see how they cook them right there. Right in front of you. On the onion, the burgers, the noodles, onions. Mm. These are the onions. You look. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Harley Lars. So we're here at White Castle. Ordered uh, four cheeseburgers. Also ordered mozzarella sticks. I love them. Yeah. And the 1921 burger, which is lettuce, tomato, also on it. Okay, I'm gonna try the 1921 burger since I never had one of those. Vanilla shakes. Love them here. Not to a regular cheeseburger. So I personally get them without the pickles. I feel for me the pickles is what sends them through pretty quickly. Mm. Mm. They're just about the same as I remember. So anybody that's never had White Castle, you live in Arizona. People online we talked to didn't never had White Castle. They're pretty small. It's about a two, two and a half inch box. Burgers about two inch by two inch, but they're delicious. But they're called belly bombers. Back on the East Coast where we're from, they're called belly bombers. It was like the 2 a.m. thing after a night out drinking. You go there, they're over 24 hours. You go there, you order, you know, 10 of them, 12 of them, and then they were back then, they were 15, 20 cents each. And you eat a whole, whole crap load of them with a drink and fries for like five bucks. And, and it, you know, everybody thought they were great because you were drunk, so it didn't matter. But now we're sober, stood in line, still here, about a half an hour we waited. So from the time we got in line till the time we got our food. It was roughly about a half hour, yeah, maybe a little bit more. So not not terrible, but we did come around 12.30, so, you know, maybe maybe come off, off peak time of, you know, not lunchtime, and we'll see what happens. We'll talk to you in a little bit. All right, guys, welcome back. So I ate a little bit at the 1921 burger. I gotta say, I'm not really a fan. To me, the burger tastes, it's different, it's thicker. It's almost like a cheeseburger, but it wasn't, I don't think it was that good. Plus, tomato kind of didn't have the onions. I don't think it's cooked in the onions. Definitely not like the regular White Castle burger that we have here. So this, if you like that, you know, knock yourself out. Yeah. So, White Castle burger, thin, maybe it's meat. They cook it on the onions with cheese. It's pretty good. One thing I love here, the mozzarella sticks. Friggin' delicious. Mm. Like crunchy on the outside. Not overpowering seasoning. Cheese delicious. And last thing I got were the fries. So anybody who knows me already knows I like my fries well done. These are not well done, but you can't really ask for that in a fast food place. Not bad. It tastes undercooked, especially for my taste. And the piece de resistance, vanilla shake. Just as good as I remember. Creamy, vanilla, delicious. Super thick, really hard to even draw it out of this, this straw right now. So back in the day, they used to have fatter straws for vanilla shakes, because they only had vanilla back then. This place here has vanilla choking strawberry. So a little bit about this place, it's supposed to be the largest white castle in the country. Inside doesn't look that much bigger, but maybe square footage it is. 
set up a little, lot different than most of them. Most of them, it's almost they're almost like behind a shield. Some of them are in crappy neighborhoods, so I guess you know they got to do that. But and who's going to rob a White Castle when you spend sixty cents for a burger? Come on. But you know, there's all kinds. Tune in for the follow up. We'll see you in a little bit. So here's the outside eating area, as you can see. Pretty good size. They got heaters up there right now. Um, they got misters. You can see the, tw the round circles. Mm, somewhere over here. Yep, right here. They look like misters that spin. So that looks pretty cool. I'd like to try it out in the summer. But uh, they got the heaters. Heaters didn't work that well. It was kind of chilly in the shade. But uh, yeah. All right, everybody. So we're at the White Castle. You can see it there. Nice place. Still drinking my shake. Overall, good experience. People in there were friendly, funny, made a couple jokes. Uh, you know how I am if you know me. Um, and so overall, the the, re the, play, the restaurant was pretty clean. The restaurant was pretty clean too. Uh, a little small, one urinal, one toilet. For the largest one, I would think it would be a little bit bigger. But overall, you know, it's uh, not a bad place. If you know me, you know I'll eat here again. I have a gift card at home I haven't used yet. Thank you, Christine. And uh, that's it. So thanks for watching the review. Hit subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified. Because uh, I'm going to do a couple of premieres too. So um, I'll do the video. When I release the video, I'll be live watching it with you. And then you could ask questions and stuff, a little Q&A. Uh, any comments? Leave a comment. Leave what you like about White Castle. Are you from the area now? Have you eaten here before? Have you eaten another one before? Let's make this happen. Feel free to share this with your friends. Thanks for looking. Have a great day.